Hi guys, and welcome to the final episode of 30 Days of Art. I can't believe it. Real quick before I begin, for tutorials, longer videos, and more exclusive content, feel free to check out patreon.com slash happydartist. Oh my gosh, let us begin the final topic of discussion. Um, but <laughs> honestly, you guys, this is not going to be the final topic of discussion. I'm going to be making so many more videos in the future that follow an identical format where, you know, I'll have like a time lapse of a piece I'm working on and I'll have a voiceover that tackles one main topic um, per video and it's going to be around the same length, around 10 minutes long. Um, yeah, I'm not abandoning this type of video, so by no means um, think that this is the last video of its kind. Um, I think 30 days of art was really important in helping kickstart the habit of producing videos, learning how to properly edit, how to um, you know record voiceovers and things like that. And the one biggest takeaway from this entire video series is that now I'm a lot more skilled and comfortable with you know being on YouTube and producing video content. So for that, I'm really glad. And honestly, I I didn't think I would be able to complete all 30 days. Um, not that I was planning on abandoning it, but you know, it's, it was just seemed like such a far-fetched goal at the time because just producing even one episode took so much planning and filming and editing and just hours and hours and hours um, of me basically struggling, especially in the beginning. And I just really didn't know if I had the stamina to finish 30 whole episodes. And I'm really glad I did. And because of that accomplishment, I think I now have a lot more confidence in tackling whatever projects of whatever shape or form um, that come my way in the future. So thank you all so much for joining me on this journey. You know, whether you've started subscribing to me today or you've been following me since episode one or you've been following my YouTube since day one, um, I thank all of you so much. You've given me so much energy and encouragement um, the fact that people were waiting on episodes or told me how useful they found them or how much it's helped them improve um, that alone held me kind of kept me at a high bar for myself i was i knew that i was responsible and that people were relying on me and that's such a great feeling so thank you guys again i cannot thank you enough um, but yeah let's start today's topic of discussion and I thought to wrap up this series, I would talk about how being an artist full-time has changed me, like the core of my personality. Um, obviously, I've changed careers. Um, those of you who have been following me for a while know that I wasn't a full-time artist my whole life. I started off working an office job, I majored in computer science in college, and the art career was something recent, I think in the last two and a half years. and. Um, it's not only changed my career and I guess like my business or um, painting skills, like my technical skills, but it's also changed so many different facets of my personality and kind of how I um, learn to live other angles of my life. So the biggest thing, the biggest change I noticed in myself is that with that new sense of purpose that art gave me, I now actually have real work ethic. And what I mean by that is I was always like studious and I would turn in my assignments on time or I would, you know, when I was at work, I would try to do what I, what I was told and finish all my projects. And, you know, for the most part, I kind of did what was required of me or what would earn me, I guess, like a good, a good compliment or a good grade or things like that. But it was never, the motivation was never from within. It was always an external pressure that um, forced me to do work and now now because i have so much passion and love for what i do that motivation comes from within inside so every morning for the last two and a half years no matter how bad of a day i had or how tired i was one thing is i woke up every day feeling so much um so much joy at the possibility of what i could create that day or where that day could lead me or who i could talk to that day online or you know what amazing story I'll read from you guys and it's just been so different it's like literally uh, the polar opposite of um, how my life used to be where I kind of just used to live for the weekend or live for you know summer break so 
yeah, for that, I really thank you guys. I'm really able to fully make the most of each day instead of waiting for the weekend to come. Like, I'm super excited for Mondays now, which is like crazy to think about. Um, but yeah. Another thing I noticed changed in me is that I am a lot more confident in myself now. Like, not just in my um, own capabilities of being able to to learn and improve in, you know, painting, drawing, editing, whatever skills I need for my career, but I think I'm just a lot more comfortable with the type of person I am. Um, I, I realized like when I was younger, like when I was in college or in my early 20s, you know, starting to work for the first time, I always felt kind of a little bit of pressure to fit in and, you know, I guess that, that definition changed depending on the environment I was in. I think in college I wanted to fit in and, you know, like be really studious, get good grades, or maybe like go to, you know, frat parties or wh whatever. I just wanted to like have a social life. And, um, you know, when I was working, we were all fully financially independent. We're living in the city. I felt this kind of need to party all the time and have like some sort of like social stamina, I guess, like that I could go to many social events many times a week and you know dance and drink for hours without without being a party pooper without being tired and yeah i just always felt this need to kind of conform to a trend or conform to um what other people like to do i'm not saying that you know those those actions or patterns that i described are bad i think you know everyone has their own way of having fun and i fully respect that but i definitely know that inside of me all this time was just a really boring hermit crab who wanted to stay inside cuddle with her cat watch you know adventure time and like cook a stir fry by herself like i really treasured being alone and being boring and um i never really fully owned up to that desire until recently because you know due to my art career i have to stay indoors and work alone most of the day and i've just gotten super comfortable with um you know long periods of silence or you know not going out for like a whole month you know or not going crazy and getting drunk like i really begun to appreciate the smaller calmer things in life and honestly it just makes those other moments when i do travel when i do go out on adventures um, it makes those moments so much more special for me because you know it's such a sharp contrast and i just i love that like i love that i'm able to just be boring and enjoy it and, and fully own up to it um and I guess the last thing that I noticed, um, it's not really a change, it's almost like a new personality trait that I developed over the last two and a half years. I've noticed like a more nurturing side of myself come out. And what I mean by that is like, I've always been either a student or like a new college grad or like a new employee. I was never like a manager or anything like that. I don't think I was good enough at my job to ever get promoted or be the lead for anything. And um, so I never, I was always kind of used to being like a student, like a follower or someone who just kind of takes direction, takes orders. And I never, because of that, I never knew how to like take care of other people, I guess. And um, because I was always so used to being taken care of, right? Like I always needed a mentor or needed someone to train me or teach me things. And now because of the way social media, it's kind of almost like serendipitous how fate leads you in different paths that you never expect. Like I never expected to have a YouTube channel when I decided to be a full-time artist. And I never expected to ever be giving out tutorials because when I, when I decided to be a full-time artist, I was still trying to teach myself how to properly mix paint and clean my brushes. Like I was a total novice. And now over the two and a half years, um, I know I still have a lot to learn. I'm by no means where I want to be. But the fact that I can teach other people what I, wh whatever little I do know, um, the fact that I can pass it on and help enrich someone else's life, help them progress in their career or their personal growth, um, that is an entirely new experience for me and it's so rewarding and I've started to really enjoy it um, I think like now I would totally consider being an art teacher or a tutor of some sort and that's a career I never thought I would have so yeah, that's been a really really cool new um, angle that's been introduced into my life um, So yeah, I think this kind of wraps up today's discussion I hope you guys enjoy the time-lapse and if you would like 
prints of this piece, they are available at happyd-artist.com. And even though 30 Days of Art has come to an end, I'm so excited for what is to come. So I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!